separate line for Asians, separate line for Australasians. No, we line up side by side. For example, if I'm standing here, next to me might be an uh, uh, African, a black. Next to me might be an Arab, then might be an European. So this is Islam. There shouldn't be any racism. You know, in Islam, it a lot of justice. For example, in our Quran, we have to be just. In our Quran, which has 114 surahs and chapters, okay, in uh, Surah al hujurat the inner apartments, which is Surah chapter number 49, ayah verse number 9, towards the end, Allah says, Inna Allah yuhibbul muqsideen. Surely Allah loves those who are just. Surely Allah loves those who are just. Inna Allah yuhibbul muqsideen. And then about uh, goodness, for example. Okay. Allah loves those people who are good. Why? It's mentioned in our Quran. In our Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow, which is Surah chapter number 2, ayah verse number 195. It says, Inna Surely Allah loves those who are good. Who are good? People who will not murder. Who are good? People who will not bully someone. People who, who, who you know, who are just. People who are good. Inna Allah yuhibbul muhsineen. Surely Allah loves those who are good. Okay. Now, in our Quran, uh, Islamic teachings, suicide is haram. For example, if somebody has been studying for something, he wants to be a doctor, MBBS doctor. He wants to become a barrister, a lawyer. He wants to become a doctor. But somehow, on the way, he failed. He did not reach his goal. He did not reach his dreams. Then he might be thinking, oh, I'm going to commit suicide. Haram. Haram means prohibited, not allowed. So to kill oneself, to commit suicide, Islamic teachings is haram, prohibited, not allowed. Okay? In the world, you know, there are so many people who commit suicide every year. They are all his Muslims. No, no. Okay, thank you very much. You are a bit angry. I will answer you. The elder brother said, the people, I will talk about suicide. The elder brother said that all people who commit suicide, they are Muslims. No. You see, we have many people committing suicide, unfortunately, in North America. They are not all Muslims. In South America, people also committing suicide. They are not all Muslims. Okay. In Africa, many people commit suicide. Maybe because of poverty, maybe because they can't find job, maybe because they... Okay, have a nice day. Thank you for listening. Okay, you are a gentleman and you are a lady. You are examples for everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice holiday. Okay, yes, people come and go. Uh, yes, uh, as I said, according to Islamic teachings, to commit suicide is haram prohibited, not allowed. Okay, another thing, someone who commits suicide. Where are you from? Pardon? Where are you from? I am from Pakistan. Pakistan are nice people. Okay, so, but Pakistan people are Muslim people. Yes. That's why, you know, it used to be India, Pakistan. You know the history. Yeah, thank you very much, brother, if you know the history. I, I just want to say that Pakistan used to be part of India. The British, uh, the Muslims were ruling India for more than 1,000 years. Okay, for more than 1,000 years, the Muslims were ruling India. Okay, uh, but the Muslims never forced the people in India to become Muslim. Because if, can you imagine, if the Muslims ruled India for more than 1,000 years, okay, and yet in India, and Pakistan has come out of India, yet in India, Still now the majority is Hindu, not Muslim. Why? Those people who say that Islam spread by the sword, that is wrong. Because if the Muslims ruled India for more than 1000 years, it is still 
majority non muslim majority hindu why because islam doesn't force people it's up to the people why because according to islamic teachings for example in our quran allah says in surah al baqarah the cow surah chapter number 2 aya verse number 256 256 allah says la ikraha fid din there is no force in religion there is no compulsion in religion kat tabayyana rushd min al ghay truth will stand out clear from falsehood truth katabayyana rushd min al ghay truth will stand out clear from falsehood truth will stand out clear from error so islam doesn't tell us quran doesn't tell us to force people to become muslim so what happened where in all places that the islam do force people okay brother give us an example don't worry don't be shy tell us uh, name a country and area and i will answer you which area in the middle east yes uh you mean the arab countries i mean it arab okay let me answer you no problem okay now is uh, the muslims over the centuries have ruled in many countries okay now i'll give an example now from the arab side Muhammad peace be upon him sallallahu alaihi wasallam was an arab he was the last of the greatest of all the prophets and he started preaching islam one person okay he just spoke he did not use a sword become muslims or okay he spoke and what muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him was speaking people listen they started being attracted towards islam they started coming towards islam Hello. ah good afternoon how are you good ah good afternoon she last sunday it was raining is raining again no. but anyway we, we should be thankful to allah subhanahu wa taala anyway so so the muslims grew in numbers okay then what happened in the year 6 and i've already mentioned this in the year 622 ad okay the first revelation to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it came in the year 610 ad in the christian calendar okay then in the year 622 ad allah subhanahu wa taala god almighty commanded the prophet to migrate do hijra migrate from makka to yathrib so the prophet migrated to yathrib when he reached yathrib from that time up to now up to the day of qiyama judgment it has been known as madina it is known as madina it will always be known as madina the people in madina they themselves listen to the prophet dawa preaching of the prophet and they started becoming muslim now in the second year of the prophet's migration the idol worshipers from quraish they attack i don't want me to answer you in one minute okay okay let me let me go fast let me okay i'll speak fast okay okay just talk to the point okay okay listen there is an issue yeah if you want to ignore it I'm not trying to ignore it. I don't need to. I am we are Muslims. We know how to speak. We know how to debate. We have knowledge in we learn and we know. I'll give you example. Okay. Muslims in Syria, Sham. Why the people accepted Islam? Muslims in Iraq. Why people accepted Islam? Muslims in Lebanon why people accepted Islam Muslim I'm telling I'm tell, now listen you ask me a question now listen to the answer brother listen to the answer I'm mentioning these countries in the Middle East you mentioned Middle East I'm mentioning these countries one by one okay Muslims in Saudi Arabia 
they accepted Islam. Muslims in Yemen accepted Islam. Muslims in Muscat, they accepted Muscat and Oman, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Misr, Egypt, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Libya, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Tunisia, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Algeria, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Morocco, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Sudan, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Chad, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Niger, they accepted Islam. Muslims in Mali, they accepted Islam. But in Spain, in Spain, the Muslims ruled from the year 711 AD to the year 1492 AD. 1492 AD when Garnata, the last Muslim stronghold fell. Now, so in other words, Muslims ruled nearly the whole of Spain or parts of Spain for more than 755 years, for, five zero, for more than 750 years, yet go to Spain today. Is it Muslim? It is majority Christian. Why? Because those people majority did not accept Islam. So the Muslims did not force them. See the difference between the countries I mentioned earlier. Those people in those countries, they accepted Islam. They were not forced to accept Islam. They accepted. It was their own choice. Because according to Islamic teachings, no force. But if but in Spain all religions, Christians, Muslims and Jews, yes, they sir. bring up their children in their culture. They don't give them a chance. Nobody asked me if I wanted to be a Catholic. Okay. I was baptized when I was converted to Catholic. Nobody said, Do you want to be a Catholic on all of the folks? Okay. I never said I did or I didn't. Okay. Now you are speaking uh, like when you were a child. That is, you were born in a Christian household and from earlier on you were brought up as a Christian. Yes? Now, sir, here it is different. How? <laughs> Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, was an Arab. Okay? So from one Arab, from that time, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, up to the present day, in the year 2020 in the Christian calendar, in the year 1441 in our Islamic calendar, from one Muhammad, peace be upon him, now two billion Muslims, now two thousand million Muslims, out of a world population of 7,600 million human beings out of 7.6 billion human beings 2 billion are Muslim Could they renounce so, Islam? So, sir, sir, let me, let me finish, thank you very much J Just be patient, let me finish Sir, sir Who are these Muslims? Are they only Arabs like Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No They are Pakistanis 200, they are Indonesians 271 to 273 million. They are not Arabs, yet they accepted Islam. Not by force. Why? Because those 18,000, around 18,000 islands, no Muslim army ever invaded those islands. It was the Muslim traders who went, yet majority Muslim. Are the 220 million in Pakistan, we have a population of 220 million. Are those 220 million Pakistanis Arabs? Some of them are of Arabic descent, but the vast majority are not even from Arabic descent. What about in Nigeria, where you have the population of just over 200 million? Nigeria, the most populated country in Africa more than 200 million people even in nigeria who are they africans black people yet even in nigeria the biggest population wise country in africa 
you are the majority who are Muslim. How did they become Muslim? Was it by force? No. They were brought up as children to be Muslims. They weren't converts. They didn't choose Islam. To okay, they were to. Okay. They were brought okay. up as Muslims. Did you know? So intellectually, they didn't embrace Islam intellectually and say it is the religion we want to be Muslims. They sir, were brought up as children, and children don't question their parents. Sir. It is true, I agree with your statement partly, not wholly. Why? Because yes, there are millions of Muslims, there are two billion Muslims in the world. And yes, Muslims get married, then they have children. Those children are born in Muslim households, so they are brought up. But sir, have you ever heard of Jacques Cousteau, a famous French undersea underwater explorer. He was born in a Christian household. Yet, did you know he became a Muslim? Yeah, one people. I can show you like million people that did the opposite. Like what? Like people that were Muslims and choose to be not Muslims. Okay. So, like, what, what is the point? And the point is keep listening. Keep listening. Okay. Uh, so, make your, uh, what was your question again? The question is, children were brought up to Yeah, okay, okay. Second example, I remember you, the gentleman came in, so I remember, okay. What about Cassius Clay, who became Muhammad Ali, the world, the greatest world heavyweight champion, as they say, of Ultra? His grandfather was born in my place, in Ireland. Okay. Yeah, so so Cassius Clay wasn't born in a Muslim house, was he? Yet when he became in the boxing ring, he became the world heavyweight champion by knocking out Sonny Liston within a very short time. And it was in the boxing ring he announced. So he wasn't born in a he was born in a Christian house, yet he became a Muslim. Yeah, his grandfather was Irish Catholic. Can I tell you? Recently I was looking in the YouTube. I found a YouTube where it mentioned in the United States of America around 200,000 Latinos, Latinos from Latin America, from South America, from Central America, for example, from Mexico, from Nicaragua, from Bolivia, from Colombia, from Argentina, Latinos who are now living in the United States of America, USA, they have become Muslims. There must be a reason. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a, it's a because Islam is acceptable. Sir, Islam... You shouldn't force children to... Sir, to Sharia sir I'll come to that. I'll come to that. Let me say, why did people become Muslim all over the world? People have become Muslim in North America, in South America, in Europe, in Africa, in Asia, in Australasia. Why? Because Islam was acceptable. Why? Because Islam was the truth. Why? Because Islam was right. Why? Because Islam was believable. It was their own choice. Sir? Yeah, Islam is true in the sense that it's true. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're not a Muslim, yet you are saying Islam is true. But Allah, if God is true, say God is true. Yeah, God Almighty is true. And as you say, yes, the God which we say Allah, that is the true God. If somebody says Jesus was God, no, that is not the true God. If somebody says Buddha is God, no, that is not the true God. If somebody says uh, some of these Hindu gods, no, they are not the true God. The only true God is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only true creator is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, not only we Muslims say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is God. Remember, in the Middle East, for example, in Misr, Egypt, in Lebanon, there are millions of Christians. Yet when they mention God Almighty, they say Allah. So Muslim, we Muslims say happily, we say who is the creator? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is God Almighty? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And ask the Christians in Egypt, in Lebanon, the Arab Christians, who is God? They will say Allah. 
That is the true God. Yes. The God. Yes. I mean, I mean, look. Look, I have, sir. If you look behind you, 